Hello and welcome. Let's see today what are the eight major reasons for explosion of lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries are very safe and usually there are no reasons for a battery catching fire or exploding due to a fault in the chemistry of these batteries. There are a few occasions of fire due to thermal runaway in the case of sealed maintenance free batteries. However, the vented type flooded electrolyte lead acid batteries are relatively much safer with very few cases of explosion or fire. The cases of fires in the case of electric vehicles wherein lithium ion batteries are used has put the spotlight on battery fires and safety related issues. A lead acid battery can explode due to either or a combination of the following reasons. The first and foremost reason and the most common reasons for explosion of lead acid batteries are clogging of the vent holes of the vent plugs of the batteries. Whenever a battery is used in a dusty or dirty environment, this becomes the reason for explosion of batteries. The batteries having such clogged holes of vent plugs do not allow the gases to escape and due to which there is a pressure buildup leading to an explosion. The second reason for explosion of batteries is when a battery is subject to a continuous overcharge. When I say continuous overcharge, what we mean is the battery is charged continuously though it is fully charged. When a battery is fully charged, it means that the active material has converted fully. It has become sponge lead on the negative and lead dioxide on the positive. In such a condition, there is no lead sulphate active material to be converted chemically on both the positive and the negative plates. The electrical energy fed by the charger which is supposed to convert the chemical energy from electrical energy now converts electrical energy to heat energy. The electrolyte gets heated up, the evolving explosive hydrogen gas generated builds up the pressure under the vent plugs causing the vent plugs to pop up or builds up pressure sufficient enough to explode the battery. The third reason is explosion of the battery due to incorrect charger being used to charge the battery. When the battery is connected to a charger which is meant for a larger capacity battery, the charger starts charging the battery at a higher than recommended current. In such cases, the battery life is affected and the active material from the plates start shedding. This creates an internal shot. The internal shot causes heat and explosion. In this case, the internal shot is not because of a manufacturing defect, but it is due to incorrect charger selection. Let's see the fourth reason. The fourth reason is sources of static electricity which cause spark in the vicinity of batteries. Also, naked flames or sparks of welding or any other spark near the batteries, especially when the batteries are on charge, can cause a fire or explosion. As in when batteries are on charge, hydrogen gases are involved. Hydrogen gas is very flammable and it yields explosive mixtures with air and oxygen. Since the hydrogen gas is flammable, the source of spark with oxygen from the atmosphere can lead to a fire and explosion of the battery. Hence, even smoking cigarettes is not recommended in rooms where the batteries are on charge. The fifth reason for explosion of batteries is when the batteries are kept on charge in a room with improper ventilation. When batteries are on charge, hydrogen and oxygen are both evolved as gases. They do recombine to form water, but not fully. If hydrogen gas is evolved to such an extent that the concentration of hydrogen gas is greater than 4%, it can cause an explosion of battery. Hence, the 
batteries have to be charged in a room where the gases can escape. Battery manufacturers usually recommend battery charging areas or rooms to have adequate ventilation with at least six air changes per hour. In fact, if there is an exhaust fan in a room where batteries are being charged, it is necessary to have an air inlet in a place diagonally opposite to this exhaust fan. This ensures that fresh air comes into the room and the hydrogen gases are uh, I mean, ventilated out along with this fresh air and then the uh, concentration is maintained below 4%. The sixth reason is if batteries of smaller than recommended size or lower AH capacity are used. At times due to non-availability of correct capacity batteries or due to cost consideration, batteries of, of lower capacity are fitted to equipments or material handling vehicles. In such cases, the charger being of a much larger capacity than what is required by the battery, it tends to overcharge the battery. It heats up the battery, causes bubbling and gassing with a possible explosion of the battery due to pressure buildup within the battery container. What happens is sometimes a vehicle needs an N70 battery or an E88 battery and the user says that it's very costly and it's okay to fit a N50. And when he puts a battery of a N50 where a N70 or an E88 is required, what happens is this battery is getting heated up especially when it is discharged at a high current and at times these batteries explode. Similarly, in the case of forklifts, suppose a forklift requires a battery of 48 volt 516 AH and the user finds that this battery is costly. He decides to go for a 48 volt battery but of a lower capacity, a 443 or a 400 AH. And in this case also, he uses the charger which is meant for a higher capacity battery. Naturally, the battery ends up at times getting heated up and exploding. Let's see the seventh reason. The battery can explode if the battery terminals are shorted externally with any metallic object or conducting substance, intentionally or unintentionally. Similarly, a loose contact at the terminal ends which cause sparks can also be a cause of explosion or fire. Coming to the last reason, the eighth reason, the battery can explode if it has an internal short due to a manufacturing defect. An internal shorting can be due to a missing separator during the assembly stage or it can be due to a lead run between the plates during the assembly or it can be due to a premature shedding of active material. However, such a manufacturing defect is a rare occurrence since it is a defect which can be detected very easily by a quality inspector at the battery assembly or inspection stage. In case the same fault is not de detected by the manufacturer due to any reason, the fault in manufacture manifests itself within 10 to 15 days or at the most within a month of battery use. Hence, this reason is a rare occurrence for explosion of battery. From the details provided by me, it is clear that lead acid battery chemistry is safe and not prone to fires due to thermal runaway, which is a phenomena typical to lithium ion battery chemistry. Thus, lead acid batteries are comparatively much safer than lithium ion batteries. Almost all the reasons for mishap in lead acid batteries are external causes and thus abuse or misuse or non-maintenance of the batteries are the reasons for lead acid battery fires or explosions. Thus, proper use and maintenance of lead acid batteries guarantee a safe performance without any cause for worry in the case of lead acid batteries. Thank you. Please do visit www.rameshnatrajan.in. You may contact us by writing to Ramesh N. Kailad 
at gmail.com r-a-m-e-s-h-n-k-a-i-l-a-d at gmail.com Keep yourself updated about our new releases by hitting the subscribe button.